I love all of the seasons, but fall has a special place in my heart. There is something about fall that truly is inspiring. I get really excited about the change of the season and I wish it would last longer. My peppers are finally ripening and the colors are astonishing. This fish pepper is a star. It's the only striped pepper I had so far. Even the leaves are gorgeous. And in fall, leaves are changing colors on all of the plants around. Fall welcomes pumpkins, apples, and cozy spices like cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves. Given my love for all of these things, no wonder I love fall so much. In the past couple of days, I harvested a lot of peppers, hot and sweet, and will be dehydrating them to make my own pepper spice. Just look at this wonderful and colorful mix. It cheers me up knowing that I grew all of that myself and I started all of them from seed because they are quite rare varieties and even if I wanted, I wouldn't be able to purchase seedlings from any nursery around. Starting peppers from seed takes a lot of time and patience, but it's so worth it. And in moments like this, looking at trees full of peppers, I appreciate the efforts I put earlier in the season. Because usually by the end of summer and beginning of fall, we all get a garden burnout. And we skip on waterings because we're tired from the long, hot summer days. But please make sure to stop and reflect on everything you've done so far and allow yourself to slow down now and enjoy what fall season brings. What I like to do in the beginning of the cooler fall days is to make milled apple cider. Not only it is delicious, but also makes my whole house smell so good, just like fall. I use my favorite spices, anise, star, cinnamon, cardamom, allspice and cloves, plus some slices of orange and apple. I simmer it on low heat and drink it warm. One of my discoveries this past season was this variety of patty pan squash, which can be enjoyed in many different recipes. But my favorite way is to stuff them. So first I scoop out the seeds of my patty pan squash and make sure to save the top. It will serve as a lid of our dish. Next, I saute my chopped onions with some garlic. Then I add in chopped mushrooms and cook them until done. Then I add seasonings and let them cool a bit before I mix with some ricotta cheese. Also, I add a bit of parsley for flavor. Then I stuff my squashes and I roast them in the oven at 375 degrees for about 45 minutes. I also added some Brussels sprouts for a company. I like how they caramelize and get crispy, creamy ricotta with some umami mushrooms and sweet Brussels sprouts make this dish delicious for dinner. Next, I will make a traditional Persian dish called Gorma Samsi. It's a flavorful beef stew with a ton of garden herbs and beans. But first I start by chopping onion and caramelizing it together with some garlic. I use oil, but you can use butter as well. Then I add stew meat, which is beef in this case. I let it fry 
a little and then add salt and seasonings called Advie. I have a recipe for it on my channel and will post the link in the card above and in the description box below. I also add broth, cover it and cook until soft for about an hour. In the meantime, I go outside to collect some herbs. In this dish, parsley, cilantro, leeks, green onions, spinach and fenugreek are used. I use a combination of fresh herbs and dry. You also need Persian dry limes. I soak them in hot water, same as dry herb mix to rehydrate. Then I wash and chop my fresh herbs and they smell so good. After meat is cooked, I add both dry and fresh herbs and those limes and cook it together for another hour. The flavors will marry together and the meat will start falling apart, which is perfect for the stew. In the end, I add cooked red kidney beans and serve it with white rice. Now that I made my husband's favorite dish from Iran, let's do some Ukrainian cooking. Borscht, which is a hearty soup with a lot of garden vegetables. It can be made with either pork or beef. I'll do mine with beef. And I start by browning some onions and garlic again. Add meat, cook it for a little, then add salt and pepper broth and let it cook until soft for about an hour. In the meantime, I shred cooked beets, chop some cabbage, slice carrots and potatoes. And I like to squeeze one lime on the beets so the flavor stands out. Beets are sweet, so the acidity of lime helps it. After the meat gets soft, first I add carrots because they take longest to cook and in 10 minutes I add potatoes and when both of them are soft, I add the rest of the ingredients, beets, cabbage and in the end I add beans and some chopped parsley. You can also use dill. You can serve it with a generous spoon of sour cream delicious. Another hearty soup I enjoy in the fall is broccoli cheddar. I didn't film how I was cooking it, but it's pretty simple and much easier than other dishes. It takes about 30 minutes to make and tastes just like the Panera bread version. You can make it vegetarian by using veggie broth or add some flavor with chicken stock. I like mine with chicken. In the fall, I make a lot of soups and stews because they warm up my body and soul. They make the house smell good and inviting. How about you? What recipes do you make in the fall? Please share with me in the comments below. And what other activities do you like to do this season? I like to go for a walk in the woods and see how fall is settling down, collect some leaves and acorns for my art projects and just enjoy the nature. It is so therapeutic. Thank you so much for staying with me. Soon I'll make another vlog style video about fall and baking. Stay tuned!